people alternate with the heels. These days, one up, driving one down. Nate Martin up and down those calf muscles. Does the downward dog. Touchdowns, though, had him taking a different stance just a few years ago. Uh, I played offensive line, so I was one of the big guys up there. 300 pounds and six foot three. His body on the line for Missouri Western State. I had a couple minor, you know, injuries, knee scopes or uh, broke a wrist here or there. After years in the weight room, it was definitely a change. He tells me and you're going to kind of leave your hands on that, that front knee. He found a yoga mat. And you're going to walk that front foot out a little bit here. And started reaching and for a new goal. And when I looked at it, it was um, getting into it. I'm like, no, that's, you know, that's feminine. That's real girly. That's not what I want. That's not football. That's not, you know, uh, macho. Reluctant <sighs> yet persistent. We'll extend the other arm out. Someone at the gym suggested the discipline for aches and pains. I wish I would have got into it while I played. Um, I think it would have helped with um, management of, you know, staying up on injuries. And avoiding the alternative prescription painkillers. A lot of times those drugs are just I don't know to say, the easy way out, I guess. Um, you just need that lifestyle change, um, and you can naturally fix a lot of those problems. Back knee can be down on the ground. Now, he's helping others recover. Back pain, knee pain, hip pain, shoulder pain. Sometimes on doctor's orders. And then we're going to push down, kind of like we're doing a push-up. He teaches yoga at Mosaic Life Care Clinic. Staying loose and limber, so um, the more you do it, the uh, the more your muscles are going to move and function the way that they should. A lot of the pose. Exercising a position. Kind of sink the hips all the way back. On the addiction epidemic. Here and gather, gather our breath.